Okay. The spring major predictions, Boston spring major predictions. This is the double elimination bracket. If you've just tuned in, um, my Twitch chat already voted. This is the Twitch chat predictions. You can pause it if you want to have a look at it. Um, incredible stuff, as always, by, by Twitch chat. But I'm going to show them how it's done. I'm going to show them what's really going to happen. Now, if there was ever a LAN in Rocket League history, well, going this is it's almost, it feels like season two or three again, where it's like so EU favored going in that um, you could just predict an EU top four and that would be justifiable. But I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to go boring with this one. Sometimes I decide to be ultra boring with a, with a bracket. Like last time, I think I was really boring with my predictions. I don't think I'm going to be boring this time because it's just too easy to say EU top four. It's predictable, you know? It's predictable if I just say, oh, EU's all top four. Where's the fun in that, you know? So let's go for... I'm going to make some reasonable upset predictions today. I think that are reasonable at least. Puggets RL, thanks for the prime. I'm going to go for some reasonable predictions. So I'm going to start off with Elevate. Uh, taking down Vitality in five. No, I'm just joking. I'm not actually going to be that. That's not reasonable. That would be unreasonable. So we're going to do Vitality 3 owing Elevate. Right, imagine. No, I'm not going to go unreasonable. Only reasonable. Um, but I'm not just going to go and predict every upset that I can. That's not my idea here. I'm going to like choose ones that I think make sense. So... Complexity Team Liquid, I think this is a close series. However, the current form of these teams, I think, is a little bit cloudy because Complexity, they, they're coming in as uh, Regional 1 winner, then two events that so didn't go so well. They got ninth and they got 8th. Um, well, ninth, yeah, ninth and then, you know, 7th, seven, 8th, seventh, eighth, basically. Liquid came 2nd, and I think they got 6th twice. So, a little bit better, but um, it's who these teams are losing to. Complexity, I think, you know, looking a lot more shaky than Liquid in these losses that they've had since... They, both teams, teams did really well in Regional 1, but then since then they haven't looked as good. I think Complexity have looked off gameplay-wise. Uh, team Liquid have just, you know, lost to some really good teams. So I, I'm going to say Liquid here, 3-2. I do, I do think Complexity can win that, though, if they improve between the last couple of Regionals we saw and uh, the event. But yeah, the problem is I think Team Liquid are going to most likely improve as well. Uh, didn't Liquid lose to Hogan Mode? I rate Hogan Mode very highly, especially in Regional 3. So I don't think that's a, a bad loss at all. Um, but yeah, Complexity lost to I think NRG in Regional 2, which is not acceptable. Uh, that shouldn't, shouldn't be happening. Uh, NRG went on a bit of a run, but I, I, I really feel like looking at those games, I'm like, what are Complexity doing? Whereas when I look at Team Liquid losing to Hogan Mode, I'm like, Hogan Mode are kind of packs, they're just playing really well so i'm gonna say i'm gonna say uh liquid there but it's, it's close okay bds gen g another close one um but yeah i feel like bds are just too good right now I'm not, i've not been impressed by gen g um i'm gonna give them one but i've not been impressed by gen g recently they got the uh the tiebreaker win over phase they did beat complexity who have also looked pretty flat recently However, yeah, they, they lost to G2 in Regional 3, which is... If, if, if Gen.G just beat G2 and then maybe went on a one more series win run, if they got like top three, I would be so convinced that they're back, but I'm just not convinced they're back yet. I don't know. They haven't, they haven't had the greatest form and BDS have looked incredible. They got, what, third place, third place, second place in EU? That's insane. So you, I think you just have to go BDS here. Um, crew Rule 1. I think this is another banger. Um, I'm really excited for that one. Um, now, I think if this was later in the tournament, I, th I think if it wasn't round one, I think rule one would win this. I think most people are picking rule one to win this. But I'm going to go with crew because Sam always does better than we expect. Or at least one Sam team always does better than we expect. So I'm going to go crew because it's rule one's first series on LAN. Crew they had those first series jitters at the last event and then after they got over them they actually played a lot better made a top 8 so I think this team's had that real one haven't yet so I'm going to go crew here um, I think it's very close I think all these series are very close SSG power I don't think this is close unfortunately for OCE um, I'm just going to speed run the next one as well I just think OCE is a little bit behind right now especially against 
uh, NA one seed in Carmine Corp. I mean, these are terrible draws for OCE. Uh, not not even getting another uh, region. But it, at the same time, it's the best draw possible because then they play each other for a world's wild card spot. I'll explain that in a second. Furia Moist. I'm going to say Furia. And I believe in Furia. I'm not going to go 3-2. I'm using my scores here. Scores obviously don't matter in double elimination, but I'm using them to indicate how close I think the series is. I'm pretty convinced Furia are going to win that. I think uh, Moist are the weakest EU team by a fair margin. And Furia have gotten over their uh, the little dip they were in, got their mojo back. We always knew that they're... Uh, well, we, we know that those are LAN players. So, yeah, Juicy's on a LAN debut. Cash has only played a single LAN. Lost and kind of... Uh, Yan and Carter played way more than that. So, I, I think Furia. I'm going to go I'm gonna go for Furia there. Now, Optic Ninjas in Pajamas. Um, I feel like it would be... You know, it wouldn't be... I, I would be going off brand if I predict Optic to win this. I just shouldn't be doing that, should I? I just have to pick NIP because Optic th fans all think I hate Optic and I've got to keep that going. So we're going to choose NIP here. Uh, but no, seriously, I reckon Optic are going to win. I, I think they're going to win. I'm not just saying this to try and get Optic fans to like me. Frankly, I could not care any less. You guys can hate me if you want. In fact, if you're, going to, if you're determined to hate somebody, let it be me because uh, I can deal with it. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm picking Optic because I think they're going to win. <laughs> I, not to appease Optic fans. I'd love to pick Optic to lose here to troll the fans, but I think they're going to win, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict them to win. That's what we're doing here. We're predicting. We're not trolling. Um, but I'll give, I'll give NIP a game as well because I'm pretty confident Optic are going to win that. Um, yeah, I think Magic Bear could be nervous, but so could Mota on NIP. Also remember, it's always one Sam team that does really well. The other one doesn't. So I've got to stick to that formula here. If I've got crew winning, I have to have the other Sam team losing. I mean, Team Secret did make it out of their group last time. Well, both Sam teams made it out of their group last time and played each other. Secret did beat OCE and APAC though. So it's not really the best LAN. I feel like, yeah, it's always one and then not the other. NIP Sam 2. It's not always Sam 2 though. It's not always Sam 2. Um, it was... Furia were Sam 2 in the Winter Major last season. They did well, but come on. They weren't really Sam 2. They were the best team in Sam. Then Furia did well in Spring. They were Sam 1. They did well at Worlds. They were Sam 1. It was Sam 2 at the Fall Major and the Winter Major this season. But Furia were the best Sam team all last season. They were the best performing Sam team at every event. So I'm going to go like this. Okay, upper bracket. Now this is going to happen on the same day as the Round 1 matches. Um, so Vitality Liquid will happen the same day that Liquid beat Complexity and the same day Vitality beat Elevate. Now I'm going to go back in time a little bit. Quick history lesson. Um, if we go back to last season's Spring Major, let's have a look at what happened. G2, the top seed, um, smashed APAC, Carmine Corp beat Furia, and then Carmine Corp actually reverse swept G2 in the next round. Um, let's go back a bit further. Let's go to Winter Major last season. Um, Group A, V1 beat FaZe, Queso beat Detonator, the APAC team, and then V1 beat Team Queso, EU's number one team, in the very next round, which happened immediately after. Look at the timestamps on these matches, 5 p.m. GMT, 6 p.m. GMT. Immediately afterwards, you're gaming, um, and uh, yeah, the, the one seed lost. But, so it actually does have a history of happening in a double elimination that the one seed of the entire tournament gets APAC in round one, wins, and then they lose their next round. And based on the fact that this is, and I'm not just doing this to be controversial, but based on the fact that this is uh, Vitality's first line with Zen, all the anticipation that they've got uh, like to do well, I'm going to say Liquid are going to knock Vitality to the lower bracket for the first time ever. I think Liquid are going to knock them down. Now, if you, look, if you want more evidence as to why this could happen, let's go to the regional one of the spring split this season in Europe. First time Liquid played uh, Vitality, they got 4 2 Next time they got 4-3'd, they got but Liquid played them very close um, when they did play them. They played them very close. Now, if they're coming off a complexity win... Oh, sorry, that's your guys' predictions. This is mine. If they're coming off a complexity win, meanwhile Vitality have only had to elevate, that's not good practice for a Liquid match on LAN. So I'm going to pick Liquid to win this because Vitality, I think, are going to have a day that they need to get used to 
uh, playing online with Zen on the roster. And it's not just Zen, it's Alpha and Radosin as well. Alpha and Radosin, let's go and look at what happened in the winter. Are we in the right season here? We are. Winter major, day one, uh, Falcons beat Vitality. They reverse swept them actually. So it's not just Zen. You know, Vitality last event didn't have the best day one. So I think after that, they picked it up. They actually did really well. They played Carmen Carp respectively close, beat Oxygen, played Liquid very well. I think the day one will probably be the worst Vitality we've seen. Um, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go Liquid. I think Liquid can beat them. But okay. BDS crew. I think BDS are probably going to handle crew uh, without too much difficulty. Uh, do, do crew get a game there? I think, yeah, they probably get a game. I'll give them a game. How come my top five today are three Vitality players? You've got me. You've got me. Okay, Carmine Corp SSG um, and Furia Optic. Well, okay, a lot of people have been talking about how they think that SSG and Optic's gameplay is going to do really well against EU teams because, whoa, look at them. They bump. Ooh, EU doesn't know what a bump on a, or a demo is. They're going to destroy EU with bumps and demos. I don't really see it personally. Uh, I think that's good against teams that sit in net, but EU doesn't sit in net. EU challenges midfield. So I think Carmi Kart's probably going to win this. Um, I'll give I'll give SSG a game again, but I'm 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 not giving them two because I want to indicate that I'm pretty confident Carmi Kart will win here. Um, I'm using three twos to indicate a very close series. But 3-1, I'm, 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 I'm very confident. 3-0, there's no way that I see any other result happening. Uh, Furia Optic. I think Furia are going to probably take that one. Uh, there he is. He's back. Johnny the Opticator, he's back. He, was only, he wasn't gone for long, but he's back. Yeah, I think Furia is probably going to take this. I think Furia looked really good last event. And they're going to probably take that momentum into the land. They're going to be mega excited to be on land again. Um, and... Yeah, Optic are definitely, I just I think they're just outmatched mechanically, so it's going to be tough for them. But I, I will give them a 2 here, because I think it'll be a close series, but I think it's between a 3-1 and a 3-2. I'm going to go 3-2, because I'd love to see a game 5 here. Yeah, I, I, I'm i I'm probably this confident that they're going to win, but I'm going to go for go for this, because why not? Uh, not saying that, uh, thanks to the 4-month Prime, Boxnade, thanks to the Prime, and uh, Puggets RL, thanks to the Prime. Appreciate you guys. Okay, let's go lower bracket. Did I move this to the wrong place? No, it's fine. Yeah, I think Complexity are probably just going to 3-0 Elevate. Elevate have got a tough bracket. Vitality, Complexity, can't really do anything about that. Gen G, Rule 1. Um, now, yeah, I said I'm not too impressed with Gen G recently. I, I mean, they've got a very tough bracket as well. I think they would rather play Crew in this round. Probably. Um, but, you know, I... I handed Rule 1 a loss here. Not because I don't think Rule 1 are going to do well. I think they're just going to have a nervous day one. This is a different day, and I'm going to be bold here. I'm going to predict Rule 1 eliminating Gen G in round one. You know, Gen G have had pretty inconsistent results this split. They've lost to Shopify. They've uh, lost to um, Space Station twice. Who else have they lost to? I'm forgetting one of their other losses. Who else have they lost to? I want uh, I, I want Genji to do well, but I think if they go lower bracket, they're not going to stay in it for long. That's my feeling for the team. I think if they stay in the upper bracket, they're going to be confident. They're going to they're going to play well. But I think lower bracket run for Genji is hard to see, for me at least. When we look at their events so far, they they got one win in the lower bracket in the first event. Actually, the first event was good, but it's since then that the problems started to happen for them. Genji lost to Space Station Shopify. And then in the second event, they lost to Space Station, beat Energy, Complexity, but then, yeah, lost to G2. I don't know. I'm just not seeing... I don't see a massive lower bracket run for Genji. I, th I, th I think they'll probably not play very well in the lower bracket if they end up there. So I, I, I think it's reasonable to say Rule 1 are going to give them problems, whether it's in the upper bracket or the lower bracket. Um, probably more so in the lower bracket, I would say. Um, yeah, Genji are in un uncharted territory there. There's like a lot of pressure not to not to go out. But yeah, I think after day one jitters, who else is going to have day one jitters? I think rule one, vitality. It's probably 
A little bit NIP maybe. Malta. Magic Bear. Oops. I'm going to be bold here. Yeah, I'm going to predict Genji to lose. I was just in Singapore with them, like, um, and they got clapped by Carmen Carp. Nah, no. I don't think that matters, by the way. <laughs> I don't think that matters at all. The the Olympics uh, esports match, Carmen Carp versus Genji, doesn't matter in the slightest. But this is a tough bracket. Very tough bracket. Um, much tougher than this. Much tougher than this. Yeah, so this is uh, probably the most, like, I think this, am I, am I only one who thinks this, that this is the bracket with the most parity? One in chat, if you think this little quadrant of the bracket has the most parity, obviously elevating the OCE teams. Um, we'll throw that off. This is also quite a lot of parity as well. Fury and Moist Optic and Nip, but I think this has a lot of parity as well. Surprised you say the Olympics doesn't matter because both teams, Gen G and Carmen Corp, flew like to the other side of the world to play one series and they flew back like it doesn't there's no not really anything to go off there it's a very small sample size um cool experience really really cool experience but i don't think it matters in the sense that it doesn't uh it won't res it won't influence my predictions at all that's what i mean when i say it doesn't matter it doesn't matter in the context of what we're talking about i'll say this um because yeah I, I could see that i'm going reasonable upset so i think this is reasonable i think this is a reasonable upset I think this is a reasonable upset. How many reasonable upsets have I got so far? I've got one, two. I'll call Crew being real one an upset because I think real one are favorites there. Um, three. Yeah, I've got three upsets. Right, power grind zero. I'm going to go power to win that. I believe in power. They're going to half flip on kickoffs, which is OP. So they're going to win. Moist ninjas in pajamas. We've already got one Sam team doing well, so I think the other one's going to lose. But I'll give... I'll give Nip a two here. I think they can I think they can make that close. Alright, optic complexity. I think I'm just doing the same thing as my chat did earlier. I think I'm just eliminating complexity here. <laughs> I think I'm just putting them out. I'm gonna do this actually. I'm more convinced that Fury beat them than complexity, so I'll indicate that with the scores. Yeah, I'm eliminating complex uh, optic, um classic Johnny hater, Gen G hater, uh, Johnny Optic hater, Gen G hater. You know, that's what I do. Um, I do think crew will beat power. I don't need to think too much about that one. I'll give power a game here. Now, power did make uh, a good run at the fall major, but I think crew are genuinely a good team, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them through here. Um, Vitality is an easy one over Moist. I'm going to say 3-0. Sorry, Moist. I think Vitality just had their number. And now, Space Station rule one. I'm going to keep the run going. I think it's totally reasonable. So let's go for... Yeah, let's just go for a nice... No, it's a 3-2. It's got to be a 3-2 by, by default. Let's get. Let's just see how far we can reasonably say they're going to go. <laughs> um, no NA players left. Yeah, there are. There's Furia and Complexity. There's like six NA players. All right, BDS Liquid. I think BDS win that one. I believe in BDS to win that one. I'm going to say 4 2. Um, oh, sorry. I think I moved that. Did I put it in the wrong place? Let's see. Carmine Corp Furia. Now, you guys all had Carmine Corp beating Furia here, I think, didn't you? Yeah, I think you guys had. I think you guys had Carmine Corp winning. Ridiculous. Obviously, the, obviously Furia are going the distance. NA all the way. NA all the way. All the way to the upper final. Furia are going to run the bracket. Don't even worry about it. Complexity rule one. Um, I'm going to make this a one because I don't want to make it all three twos. Rule one are going to keep going as well. I don't see why not. Complexity overextend all the time. Rule one, I've got Rawas in net. Complexity overextend. Rawas save. Counter attack goal. Easy. I've seen it happen a million times. Complexity always overextend at LAN. Uh, yeah, Vitality is going to mop crew, so that's that's fine. Um, Liquid rule one. Remember everything I just said about complexity overextending at LAN? Rule one, I've got Rawas in net. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Rule one, oops. Rule one, probably going to win this as well. Um, 
because yeah, Liquid and Complexity are two teams that just constantly overextend. They're going to think, nice, the top corner is open. And then Rawas is going to save it and the real one are going to score in the counterattack. It's simple. It's as simple as that. Uh, Carmen Corp Vitality, yeah, unfortunately for Carmen Corp, Vitality are past their day one jitters and now they're just winning everything uh, happens. We also got BDS, Furia. I think you guys, yeah, you guys had uh, Vitality up here versus Carmen Corp. Ridiculous. Um, not gonna happen. Yeah, Furia all the way. Uh, I don't see a problem with that. Furia gonna carry NA here. I've got a less EU bias bracket than you guys. Furia are back. <laughs> they are back in business and they're going the distance. Furia to the grand final. No all EU bracket. Boring. Too easy to predict. All EU top three. Too simple. I'm going for a more bold prediction. Um, okay, I, I feel like this is actually, this rule one run is definitely possible, but I don't think it's possible to beat Vitality though. I'm going to say, uh, I think maybe, maybe we'll get, yeah, I think maybe they can get a game or two games, possibly two games maybe, but nah, this, this is, this is possible because Gen G have looked a bit shaky recently. Space Station, um, Complexity and Liquid are all beatable. I think Vitality are in a different level once they're past their day one jitters, though, so I'm going to say that they probably win that one. Um, and yeah, I think even though the team coming out of upper finals always wins, first time for everything. Vitality from the lower bracket, no problem. Let's go for another 4 0. Why not? <laughs> Seems reasonable. BDS are going to be so tilted that they lost to Fury that they're just going to lose to Vitality in a sweep. And then, okay, I need to move this a little bit to the right. Vitality Fury. Didn't, isn't this the final you guys had? You guys had the. You guys didn't have a bracket reset though, so I'm going to have a bracket reset. Uh, Fury are going to get smashed. Actually, now, should we just repeat what happened at the Winter Major, at the Spring Major last season? 4 3, 4 0. Oh. Sorry, Fury. But Vitality are going to win. Like, Vitality are going to inevitably win this event. I tried to make their path to winning a little bit more interesting. But they are going to win, though. So, <laughs> sadly, that is the end of Bora. <laughs> I mean, the, the question marks about Vitality are... People are, like, trying to find any reason to complain about this team. But they are just different right now. Um, I think day one they could be a bit shaky, but beyond that, I don't see them having any issues. Um, yeah, they're 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 probably going to be able to pull it off. What's world's region spots after this? Who have we got? So we got Vitality over Furia, BDS, Rule One, Liquid KC, Complexity Crew. We got Optic, Space Station, Power Moist, Eliminated, Nip, Grand Zero, Gen G, and Elevate. Um. This is not how I would power rank these teams at all, by the way. But that's what happens when you have double elimination. You just have two teams that go up against each other really early. Like, I would power rank Gen G over Crew, Power, and Grand Zero. But just because all these teams ended up in one bracket and these teams ended up in another one, um, I'm eliminating Gen G here. But I would also probably power rank Gen G a top eight team. If Gen G beat Rule 1, I think they'll beat Space Station as well. Maybe even Complexity, to be honest. I think the winner of this match will probably go at least to here. Um, if it's Rule 1 Genji, I think the winner of that match will at least go to here. Being Liquid will be very tough, but I think, yeah, being Complexity, Space Station, yeah, I would take Genji or Rule 1 over both these teams. Okay, or else, uh, World's Region points. Oh, no, that is what we like to see. That is... How you do it, ladies and gentlemen? I've, I've managed to get <laughs> four EU teams in there. We've gotten rid of all of NA. NA is not getting anyone in Worlds, apparently. <laughs> How have we managed that? What, what has just happened? Okay, so we've got South America in, in Worlds. Mina, four EU teams, and Genji in phase. <laughs> it's, I didn't even know that was like realistically possible, but is this? am I crazy in saying that this bracket actually looks like it could happen. I think this bracket is 
pretty reasonable. I didn't do anything. I don't think I predicted anything completely outrageous. I didn't. I didn't. You know, completely go crazy here. I think it's more than possible that this bracket happens. Like if this, if if this was the, you know, if if you, you know, got knocked out, woke up after a week from a coma, and somebody showed you this bracket, you'd be like, "Oh, that's sick! I can't wait to watch the vod." But yeah, yeah, it all makes sense, you know. So who we got here? Carmi Corp, Denji. Yep, yep. These are all expected. These expected as well. Crew. Yep, sure. BDS. Actually, going past Moist in my one. Rule one. That means two Mina teams, two Sam teams, G1 and Oxygen. Moist, of course. Then we've got Furia, G2, and Complexity. No space station if this happens. <gasps> Bro, there's no way that it's that close. I had no idea that that was like a Worlds qualification match. That Space Station Rule 1 match was for Worlds, actually, in this bracket. That was for Worlds. Wait. So Space Station just win one more time. Yeah, they would make it in, of course, because they'd be beating Rule 1. Who's this? So yeah, they would make it. In fact, they, would, they wouldn't even be replacing Furia. They would just be bringing them with them. That's actually insane, though. I crafted this to bait NA fanboys. Nah, I'm not going to lie. I had no idea that I made this. 119, 118, 117. I genuinely I have no idea. Absolutely no idea that that was a thing. <laughs> like, I didn't even know that was a scenario for it to be this close. That's actually insane. This this would drive who would this drive crazy? Um <laughs> You know teammates wouldn't be too happy about this one. If Furia got worlds over SSG because the spring split is worth more. <laughs> Can you imagine? Because I think if you look back at this split, um they got yeah, they go they both got the same results here, then Space Station got five more points, eight more points. Um, three more here, two more here. What is that total? It's like 16, 18 more points in the fall split in the winter. But yeah, because this is worth more, Furia got 19 more points. Wait, that's actually wild. Look at this season. Space Station, three more than Furia. Another three more than Furia. So that's like six. Another five. That's 11. Another eight is 19. Uh, then another three, that's 22. Another two, that's 24. Another two, that's 26. Another five, they entered the Spring Invitational with a 31-point lead on Furia, but then Furia with a grand final, or a victory over Space Station, and a grand final take their world spot. If this happens, someone needs to check up on T-Bates as soon as possible, because this would be... <laughs> this would be ridiculous. Yeah, t uh, 27 at the major. There was 31 here, 27, and then they got 28 points more. That's kind of insane. BDS Moist also close. Yeah, very close, but that was just for like main event or wild card. It wasn't like for world's wild card. But that's actually crazy. That was my... This is my bracket. I, I could have just been boring and predicted... Vitality, KC, BDS, top three, which I think is the most likely, to be honest. But I think this would be the most interesting thing because uh, Vitality have, have not won from lower bracket yet. So if they could do it from lower bracket, I guess I would answer all the questions about this team. And I think if they're actually going to go to the lower bracket, it would be here. Uh, this is, I was thinking to myself, when is the most likely time for Vitality to go lower bracket? I think it's there. I don't think it's upper semi. I don't think it's upper final. I think it's upper round two against Liquid, who have played them close. Type 1 if you agree. If you think this is the, the most likely place for Vitality to go to the lower bracket. That's why I did it. Because I couldn't think... I was looking at the bracket like, I don't see Vitality losing here. I don't see it here. Here? Okay. We'll do it there then. Um, and they, I was also thinking to myself, a Sam team always does well, but I really don't think Optic are going to lose this, so I have to do this. Um... 
this is also like a a match. I said three one. This should probably be. I mean, I I said three one because I think BDS have looked so good. But I I you know I'm not 100 percent sure about them on LAN because it's been a while since Mokiman and Seiko played a LAN. But I think they're probably going to be fine. I think BDS are going to play well. Sebastian Grove, thanks for the brand new Prime. Welcome to the channel. BDS over Furia, though. Nah, I genuinely think Furia do have a chance to beat anyone apart from Vitality at this event. I don't think they beat Vitality, but I think they could beat anyone else, though. I think they could beat Carmine. Um, I think they could beat BDS. These are great matches. I do think Vitality are in a league of their own. I think this is the one time that they're most likely to lose, but I still think that they're in a league of their own. And that they would win from Lores, which is super hard to do. Super, super hard to do. Then before Furia first rounded, Furia lose to Moist and then they lose to Nip or something or Optic. That would be the ideal scenario for V1. V1 want Moist and Nip to win. That would be perfect. The world's qual spots in this bracket are super close. NA3, Mina1, EU4, all very close. Yeah, okay. Which, which team do you guys think... I mean, I, I can answer my own question, but I already explained this. I was going to say, which team do you guys think I'm underrating the most? But I think you're all going to say Gen G. But I've already explained that I think if they beat Real 1, they would also beat Space Station and Complexity. So in a way, I'm underrating them, I guess. But it's also like, because of double elimination, you can just end up eliminating a team um, because of the matchup they got, not because they're the like 13th to 16th best team. I think the APAC and the OCE teams are the weakest. And probably Sam too, um, as well. I think Genji are probably better than Moist, SSG, Optic, Complexity of this event. So that's already what one, two, three, four, eight teams. I think yeah, Genji are probably a top eight team. Probably better than Crew as well. So yeah, Gen Genji are. I think they're good, but I, I think BDS are better, and I think Rule One are gonna surprise people after a nervous first match real one super overrated in this bracket i think it's possible but i think it's also very possible that we just see something like um let me make a copy of this again so i can show you what i th if i was being boring like i'll just speed run a boring like bracket because Nobody wants to see, like, me tell a story about that. But yeah, if we just, like, you know, do what everybody's expecting to happen and have Vitality win out in the, in the upper bracket, like, if they just win everything, it doesn't matter what score. Um, and then, let's say... I could see Rule 1 winning this. I'm ignoring, I'm ignoring the upsets uh, worlds. I still think Rule 1 would lose here. This is not changing. That's not changing. We'll leave this. Um, this, I guess, was an upset. I, I said I was going to predict upsets. But if I'm not predicting any upsets, these are the teams I think are the favorites. Um, probably like this. Um... Liquid Fury is actually, I'm not sure. I think BDS would win either way, though. Liquid Fury, I don't know who the favorite is there. I think that I would say Liquid because Fury always comes sixth place when they go lowers, <laughs> so they probably come sixth again. But I think this is my no upsets bracket. I think these are the favorites. Vitality to win, KC, BDS, second, third. I'd probably go Liquid fourth in this situation. Um, but only because of Furia coming off a loss here. Um, and the, every time they've come off a loss here, they've lost here as well. They've lost here twice, this split. I think they lost here once, this split, and immediately lost again. So I think that would probably happen. 
But if I'm not predicting any upsets at all, I think this is my bracket. But the upsets I decided to go for were here, here, uh, here, here. Yeah, this is this is definitely I'll acknowledge that's an upset. This is an upset. Um that's an upset. This is an upset. So is this. Are there any other upsets in this bracket? I don't think there are. Because uh, apart from that, I've just got Vitality winning everything. And um, Real 1 beating Complexity is an upset as well, for sure. And Space Station. But I don't think they're as big upsets as people think. I, I genuinely wouldn't be surprised by any of these Real 1 results. Um, but if they beat Crew, I think they lose to BDS. And probably lose to like Liquid or someone down here. Optic Nip is an upset. No, it's not really though. I think Optic are good enough that that is not considered an upset. These are all the upsets I decided to go for. I just gave minor region upsets basically. South America and Mina. Region spots for the boring bracket. Let's see. So this is the zero upsets bracket. Um. I, th I think I've given zero upsets in this bracket, have I? Are there any upsets in, in this? I don't think there are. Yeah, world's region spots there is 4 EU, 3 NA. So Mina would not get an extra spot. NA, 3 would. Which means complexity would go straight to worlds. Um, Furia and SSG would both get in. So SSG would be a team to benefit if there's no upsets here. You guys think Genji beating Complexity is an upset? Okay, sure. But it's it's close. It's close. I suppose Complexity are slightly favored based on the last five matches they played. Like, Genji beat them the last time they played. Before that, I think Complexity beat them four times. But then again, Genji seem like they're quite a swingy team. Like, they beat FaZe a bunch, lost to FaZe a bunch, now they beat FaZe again. Um... I suppose this would be the true, the true no, that, that's likely based on how matchups have gone, right? SSG are the number one team NA, so I guess like they should go here. Is this a zero upsets bracket then? Is that just what you guys did? Yeah, look at what you guys did. Nothing is different. This is the, my zero upsets bracket. It's completely the same in the uppers all the way to the grand final. And the only difference in the lowers is Furia making a run. Look at this. It's literally all you guys did is predict favorites. And then Furia. <laughs> it's all you did. Look, this is your guys' bracket. This is the no upsets bracket. The only difference is Furia winning here, here, and here. <laughs> w bracket. I mean, chat just predicted favorites. You guys just predicted favorites all the time. So I was like, <laughs> it's too easy to do that. Um, but yeah, if you, don't, if you just predict, predict favorites all the time, EU top four is, I think, pretty likely. You could say Fury is a, a favorite there because they, they've genuinely looked very good. Um, but I think that's about it, though. And then from there on, yeah, you guys predicted two more Fury wins. But I mean, there's... See, the thing about Zero Upsets Bracket, when have we ever had both SAM teams down here? There's always one SAM team winning. And if you ask yourself, where would the SAM team win? Would it be Crew over Rule 1? Or would it be Nip over Optic or Nip over Moist? Which one of those is more likely to be the SAM team winning? Is Nip more likely to beat Optic or Moist? Or is Crew more likely to beat Rule 1 or... Gen G. Do you guys think NIP Moist is the most likely upset there? Do you think it's Nip and not Crew? I don't know. I believe in Optic to be NIP. But yeah, if it, if it was here, then I, w I wouldn't be shocked either. I think Nip are a good team. Yeah, oh boy. If we have EU top four, if it's just this... The crowd, ain't, the crowd is not coming. <laughs> the crowd is not coming, man. The crowd is not going to be there for EU Top 4. Oh, I hope it doesn't happen. Please, Furia, save us. 
save us. <laughs> we wouldn't even have a pre-show. Like, if listen, if this is the the top four at the major, like going into the last day, like uh, if we just you know come into the last day with this top four, just literally EU top four, like the countdown's gonna finish. It's gonna cut to the desk for the first such pre-show, and they're not even gonna be there. It's just gonna be like the guests it's going to be me and like stumpy and cj the, the the first touch guys aren't even going to show up they're going to be anywhere else literally anywhere else but yeah i went for bold predictions i'm going bold but like uh like i said earlier if i power rank these teams my power ranking t for teams of the major would be vitality casey bds um Furia Liquid very close after that. And then I'd probably put like Real One and Gen G next with uh Complexity SSG very close as well. Yeah, SSG, Complexity, Gen G, Real One, all very close, I think. Cool bracket, thanks AJG. Yeah, it's four four day event. How much advantage do you give the home region? I mean, it really depends. It really depends. For Boston, um, that's not too far. Boston is not too far from Europe. So if you're going to, to Boston from Europe, then you're there plenty time to adjust. I don't see any issues. Like the land starts on the 6th, which is a week from now. When did Rule 1 arrive? Rule 1 arrived like yesterday or something, didn't they? The 28th or the 27th. If they arrived to the 27th, then I think they're going to be fine as well. I don't know. I don't, I don't see all the teams that are already out there. Vitality's there. Casey's there. Rule 1's there. Are Moist out there already? I think they might be. They're already going to be pretty adjusted. Liquid arriving late. Okay, that could be a factor then if Liquid's arriving late. That could be a, a bonus for teams they play. Yeah, Moist, Vital, EKC are already out there. I think BDS just landed today as well. So four of the EU teams are already out there and the Mina team is there as well. Oh wait, AKA tomorrow you said? So Liquid's arriving tomorrow? If Liquid is arriving tomorrow, then they're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days to adjust. That's not completely adjusted for jet lag, but their sleep schedules should be perfect by then. That's like a whole week. So jet lag will be a small factor still. Because to adjust from Europe to East Coast, you need like 10 or 12 days, depending on the person, to completely adjust for jet lag. If these players actually go outside and see sunlight, which is not a guarantee when you're talking about Rocket League players. OCE is also there as well. I think this is, just to reiterate by the way, I feel like if there's, this is like my, my own personal opinions. Like uh, of what, of who the favorites are. My own personal opinions. Um, so I did my I did my like bold prediction bracket earlier. This is like I'm switching around a couple things here uh, to show who I actually think the favorites are. I think Genji, despite the fact they've lost the space station twice, I think they are the favorites in that match. I think they might be the favorites in complexity as well. Yeah, this is my. Basically, I guess I just rank Gen.G higher than, SS, uh, than most of you guys do. Most of you guys saying SSG is the team that are going to make this run. I think Gen.G is probably the team most likely to do it because they, uh, they don't lose to BDS twice, though. I think they probably would, to be honest. I mean, I think Gen.G is like, I'm ranking them around about 7th or 8th best team in the LAN. I'll say 6th six, six or 7th, maybe. 6th or 7th. Um... SSG owned them in spring. Yeah, I think Gen.G will probably win on land though. But it's close. These are all close. 
uh, matches, Gen G, SSG, Complexity, all very close. Who makes worlds in my actual bracket? This is my actual bracket where I boldly predicted Gen G to lose uh, or very early, which I think is a bad prediction, but I was like, I'm trying to make as many bold predictions as I can. These are the teams that made worlds in my actual bracket. Somehow, I didn't even realize, but I was creating a world where FURIA, SSG, and G2 were all separated by one point each in world's qualification with the SSG missing. Uh, <laughs> And I didn't have any idea. Chat's like, they think I rigged this, but come on. <laughs> Look how close this is. I think actually right before um, I started this bracket, someone asked what do SSG need to make worlds, and I'm pretty sure I said that they've essentially already made it, that they would have to lose early and have NA do really badly. <laughs> I didn't realize it was this. Uh, I thought SSG would need to lose like I mean, they're going to beat power, so I figured they're already in. But I guess, yeah, Furia can... If Furia or Optic can make a deep run, and no one else in NA makes top 8 apart from complexity, then that would be enough. That'd be bad. I think SSG are going to make it, though. Really. I think they are. These are my, this is my, like, 300 IQ hindsight 2020 prediction when it sub by some miracle actually happens. Because you should never predict upsets. Ever. Well, if you put SSG being Rule 1, yeah, that would be enough. Even if, like, uh, I think even if Liquid beat Rule 1, that would be enough. Yeah, no SSG are in. It wouldn't even have to be SSG winning. It would just have to be Rule 1 not making top 4. That's how close it is. Um, but if Rule 1 makes top 4, then suddenly Mina get that spot, not NA3, so SSG is missing. It could also, it doesn't even, like, SSG don't need to win this. They would just need FURIA to lose here. They would just need FURIA to come third instead of second. And now Space Station are in instead of FURIA. So it's, it's very close. Uh, but in this iteration, FURIA make it because they made the final. But yeah, if you've just come at the end here, you're wondering where's the EU top three, EU top four? I think it's just too easy to predict the EU top four. Like, I don't know. It's just too easy. <laughs> like, in the past, me, me doing that, it, there's been lands like last season or earlier this season, if I predicted EU top four, people would be like, what? This is insane. Johnny's predicted EU top four. There's absolutely no way he's lost his mind. But this time, if I did this, people would just be like, wow, th these are some really boring predictions you've got here. I fell asleep watching this, you know? <laughs> it's like... So there, yeah, there are upsets every line. It's hard to predict which ones will be the upsets though. So technically, like in general, it's a bad idea to predict any upsets when you're predicting brackets if you're trying to be right because you never know where the upsets are going to be. Um, but yeah, in general, one of the SAM teams makes it past round one. So I, I decided to make that crew. Um, I wanted Vitality to not just run the upper bracket. So I was like, okay, this is the most likely place they lose. And I think that rule one will surprise people so i was like all right let's let's see how far we can get rule one in furia realistically but as soon as you, you might notice something here i was thinking okay how far can i reasonably get rule one in this bracket oh yeah vitality how far can i get fury in this bracket oh yeah vitality <laughs> i still think vitality is gonna win i think it would be unreasonable to say that they won't but i think you can say that they'll do it from lower bracket so yeah, this is, I could suspend disbelief until Vitality, then I'm like, oh well, I guess that's the end. <laughs> guess that's the end of BDS, rule one, K-Corp. <laughs> Vitality either win or go fifth, sixth. Uh, it's, it's hard to say, but I mean, they, they're, they're a heavy, heavy favorite. I think this is, Vitality are such heavy favorites. It's been a while since we had a favorite this heavy. Are they the heaviest favorite ever in the open era? Because, yeah, Fall Major last season, 2021, there was NA thought NA was going to get an all NA top four. So I think there was definitely no heavy favorite there. Winter Major, no, no clear heavy favorite. Um, <clears throat> spring, BDS and Spring. I don't think BDS were like clear, though. I predicted Moist to beat Falcons in the spring. So BDS kind of been that heavy favorite. I got it right. 
I, I, I nailed that one. So BDS kind of made that heavy favorites. I think I put BDS third, though, to be fair, which they did not get, but... Yeah, it feels almost as inevitable as BDS winning in RLCS Season X. That's the only comparison I could think of. Like, Vitality feel as inevitable as Dignitas when they were at their best back in the day and BDS RLCS Season X. It feels that inevitable. So I'm acknowledging that by having them win, but in an interesting way. More interesting way. And yeah, I also think Real 1 and Fury will do well. So I had them winning until they beat play Vitality. <laughs> that was my rules. Vitality win. Fury are good. Real 1 good. Sam win at least one series. Those are the rules. Everything else? Automatic. Real 1 beating Complexity is interesting. Is it though? Like if, if Real 1 beat Gen.G, what is so special about Space Station and Complexity? What's so special about a Team Liquid coming off a heartbreaking loss to BDS? Um, like Liquid, Complexity, Gen G, SSG, these are all similarly, similarly skilled teams. Obviously beating them all in a row would be insane, but it would be insanely impressive. But if Real 1 could beat Gen G, which I think they're capable of, then I think they could beat all those teams. The only team I think is probably out of reach is Vitality, um, probably BDS. I don't think I would have had Real 1 beating Carmine Carp either, to be honest, but Carmine Carp got handled by Vitality before they even matched, so they didn't need to. If Real 1 loses to Crew, they're not going to beat Gen G. I think it's not really that simple because um, that'll be day one. This will also be day one. This will be day two. Uh, this will be day two as well, I believe. So yeah, it's a different day. But yeah, these are my bold predictions for anyone just tuning in. Uh, these are my boring predictions. <clears throat> if Hogan mode had moist spot, how far do you think they'd go? Probably the same. They'd most likely lose Furia, beat Nip or Optic, and then lose to Liquid. Yeah, which is better? My <laughs> my bold predictions or my boring predictions? This is so it's so boring. <laughs> it's so boring to predict this. Because it's just like Predictable. Actually predictable. Yeah, in the real in the in the just predicting favorites, I got real one here, Furia there, and then I just bumped them up a bunch, like Furia here, real one here. They were the biggest winners in my in my bold predictions. Biggest losers in my bold predictions were Gen G who I think realistically have a pretty good shot at making top six. Um, but it's also a kind of a gauntlet, so it could be either or. They could also just win this and then end up over here. Then suddenly maybe they're going to make make it to this. Like, I don't know, it's very unclear. Genji's got a big range right now. Am I wrong in saying that Genji have one of the biggest ranges? Like, I could realistically see them going out round one in this bracket. This bracket is tough. Like, it's, it's a very, very stacked, like, quadrant of the bracket. There's no free win in there. So they could theoretically lose round one. But they could also just go all the way to top three if Liquid can handle Vitality for them. But Vitality be Liquid, I don't think Genji can get top three through uppers. I think they'd have to, like, lose to Vitality, go down here, and then win against someone. I don't know who they'd need to beat, but these teams are all beatable for Genji. Who do I think has the best chance to beat Vitality? Um, Liquid in round two. That's why I predicted it. Uh, but yeah, grand final is always a bit scary. So, you know, KC in a grand final. They've done it before, so they could do it again. But yeah, KC, Liquid, probably my two teams that I think could beat uh, Vitality. Either Liquid early, 
or KC Grand Final. Who did, uh, you have no world where complexity makes it to face vitality? Um, no, I think complexity could make it, but I don't think it would matter. I think like Liquid have a better chance of beating vitality than complexity. Hasn't somebody, I, I can't remember who's been saying that complexity is going to be a problem for EU. I think it was on First Touch today, someone was saying that complexity is going to be a problem for uh, Liquid. Which I don't really see. Like, stylistically, I don't see it. Yeah, didn't T-Bit say that? He's like, oh yeah, complexity is going to be a problem for Liquid. Like, they could beat them. Come on, that's a close match. But I think Liquid's the favorite, though. Who's the worst team you think could beat Vitality? Um... The worst team, I guess rule one, are technically the worst team that I think could beat them. Furia, well I think, aren't Furia better than rule one, technically? So that's why I said rule one, I think Furia could beat Vitality, but they've got a chance. I think rule one are on paper worse than Furia though right now, so probably you have to say rule one there, right? But that's all for tonight actually, because it is two in the morning.